Hey Silverhawk, it's Power again. I'm making uh, you a new video for Rift Breaker. All right, like and comment, of course. <laughs> All right, so I'm making a video because I, I had many, many comments on uh, your re most recent episode, episode six. So uh, I had seven tips to give you. So uh, I said, well, it's gonna be, the text gonna be too long, so I'm gonna make a, a video. All right, so let me grab my pencil here. All right, so uh, the first thing. Uh, currently, if you go to your uh, research panel, you will see uh, on the top, you're going to see uh, a little vial like this, like a chemical vial and with plus one. That's your level of alien research. And plus eight with a down arrow. So that's your uh, communication hubs. They download at plus eight. So right now the uh, communications, communication hubs are really good, but uh, the alien research is really bad. You need to uh, add several levels to that, uh, add many uh, uh, alien research labs and upgrade them because uh, man, it's, it's, it really sucks. Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. There we go. All right. The second thing is the uh, order of research. Uh, let me grab just a piece of paper for that. All right, all set. Okay, so uh, for the order of research. Uh, recently, you have developed uh, technologies that you don't need at all, like lightning tower, Heavy artillery tower. I mean, you don't even have the resources for these towers. And liquid compression, you don't need that at all. And then uh, magnetic stabilizers. You've developed lots and lots of um, technologies uh, that you don't need at all at the moment. For example, the magnetic stabilizers, uh, it's available early for research, but uh, you only need it for the, the end game. So you've researched all of that for practically nothing. And at the same time, there are very, very useful technologies that you have not researched enough. For example, <clears throat> let's talk about the healer tool. That's the tool at the bottom of the screen, okay? It's the instant uh, healing for your mech. Uh, you have only recently developed it to, uh, to advance quality. Okay, you should have uh, got that a lot sooner, but now it's advanced. It's all right. Uh, by the way, you have not installed the advanced version in your toolbar at the bottom. Okay, so you need to uh, craft that and install it. And also your spears. Uh, the spears are still uh, standard. That's really bad. You should have uh, researched that uh, uh, a lot sooner but uh, you can still do it. And the rocket launchers, they're still uh, standard. Great, that's really bad. And also the maintenance tools, the armor, the titanium machinery. You remember uh, we talked about that? Titanium machinery, maintenance tools, armor. All of this is, uh, it, all of this is still uh, standard quality. So instead of researching tons and tons of stuff and putting tons of uh, technologies in the queue, what you should do is just research, put two or three technologies in the, in the queue, but select them carefully. For example, if you, um, <clears throat> for the, uh, the, the advanced spears, you need advanced swords before that, you know that? You need advanced sword first but when you queue up advanced swords uh what's the point of queuing up eight additional technologies after that because you don't want swords you want the spears and the spears become available immediately after the swords so you should so you should just put advanced swords in the queue wait for them to complete and then immediately you go to spears all right so uh, remember, you need to have all of this at advanced quality before 
jumping to another biome. I, that's why I recommend. Next, the bioscanner. Now, you get the bioscanner as soon as you complete alien research. And you completed alien research, I think, in episode 3. So you've had the bioscanner for a long time. Oh, it says bioscammer. Bioscanner. Bioscanner, okay. Uh, so this is not the geoscanner, but the bioscanner. And you need to use it quite a lot <clears throat> to research uh, different animals and different plants. When you go to the research panel and you uh, wonder why all the alien research is locked, that's in part because you have not uh, scanned the, the plants and the, the animals. You, sh you, you need to do that a lot, okay? And you have done uh, none of it uh, so far. Uh, also, when you move around the map and destroy plants just to get um, plant biomatter, well, it gives you plant biomatter, but you also destroy the technology that is inside the, those plants that you could uh, scan. So that's not a really good thing, okay? You should get plant biomatter in uh, different ways, but not by destroying plants all the time. Uh, so yeah, use the bioscanner a, a lot on uh, many things, okay? Everywhere you go. Uh, talking about bioscanner, you can use the bioscanner to scan the bio Canoptrix nest. Now, Canoptrix nest, they appear occasionally. Uh, the game will tell you that uh, many creatures are coming from a nest. And then on the uh, top left corner of the screen, it says uh, 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 investigate the area. And when you move to the area, it says uh, destroy the Canoptrix nest. Canoptrix nest. Now, you have had one in episode 5, and you did not scan it with the bio scanner. You just destroyed it. And that's very unfortunate because Canoptrix nest, uh, you need to scan a couple, maybe two or three, and then you will get uh, a new technology available for research. I don't remember which one it is. But I remember that it was quite good. So keep an eye for Canoptrix Nest. They should come around uh, sooner or later again. And sometimes instead of just one nest, like you got in episode 5, sometimes you get two or three nests and you can uh, scan each of them. All right? So keep an eye on that. <clears throat> Next is armor versus speed. All right. So if we go to... Back to this page, you remember I um, I told you that maintenance tools are, are good for reducing the uh, the cost of buildings, but I go gave you two uh, different combat um, combat loadouts, and the one you're using right now is one mech sensor and three armor. Now, what I want you to understand is that, uh, and you will realize it quite fast. Is that the best way to protect your mech is to have a high speed for your mech not necessarily have high armor that's why here you see armor and three titanium machinery or one armor and two titanium machinery and one mech sensor the uh, the speed here is very important it will protect your mech a lot more than armor plus the armor is only useful when you're in combat when you're not in combat, it serves no purpose. But the titanium machinery, it will help you all the time. It will help you a lot in combat. And when you're outside of combat, well, you will be able to go everywhere really fast. And it will save you a lot of time. And it will make your, uh, your gameplay better. All right. So that's it. Armor versus speed. Speed is really really good all right a uh, little uh, mention about the shortcuts so congratulations you uh, you started using the the c key for walls that's excellent and uh, well you just need to start using the uh, z for the energy connectors 
you know, that's something you use all the time, the energy connectors. And soon uh, we're going to add a new one. So uh, practice using the energy connectors and keep using the C or the walls. It, it will improve your gameplay a lot. And lastly, seven, the undefended outpost. All right. So what is the undefended outpost? It's something I told you before, but it, it was a long time ago. So let's return to um, this good old page that you uh, probably remember. All right. So let's say that this sheet of paper, it's the entire map. Okay. Right now, your base, uh, the shape of your base and location of your base, it's about it's about this, right? So the center of the map is here and your base, it's about here, all right? So first of all, it's way too close to the, the edge. So uh, you should expand south and at the same time, transfer, transfer some elements of your base, like the walls and stuff. You should move it uh, slowly towards the south and clear a large space, a large space between the edge of the map and your base. Okay. Now, uh, I'm talking, I'm going to talk to you about the uh, undefended outpost. So if <clears throat> this is your base, now you rem remember on episode six, you went back to the uh, cobalt patch. So let's say that's the, the, the cobalt patch here. And you also found a, a carbonium patch right next to it. And then you decided to build a, a large outpost around it with walls, uh, towers, AI hubs, and uh, wind turbines and all this. This is really bad, okay? You should never make a base outside of your main base. To exploit these uh, these patches of resource, all you need to put is the miners, one radar, and one rift pad per base. So the miners, one radar, and one rift pad. The rift pad does not need uh, any power. The radar does. So you would need to connect the, the radar. Uh, let's say you put one radar here in the middle here and you would need to connect the radar to your main base. That's really easy to do, okay? So you must not defend those, those, uh, those patches, okay? No wall, no turret, no AI hub, and no wind turbine. Because uh, what you just did, you built a, a large outpost and you started ad adding lots of turrets and everything. And later on, when the enemies become uh, harder, uh, you're going to improve the turrets and you're going to spend lots and lots and lots of resource. And all these resources will not be worth the two patches of minerals. It will cost you more than what you will get from those uh, patches of minerals. Okay? So that's why it's important to... Uh, leave it alone you just build the miners one radar and one rift pad now suppose the enemies uh, uh, are about to attack your base and they're coming from this side this side of the map here so obviously while they go to your to your base they're gonna come upon upon this so when you see that the enemies will appear here <clears throat> you use the rift pad and you simply remove the radar and the miners. You leave the rift pad there. You just sell the miners and the radar. And you can come back later and put them back on. Okay? So that's why it's, it's called the undefended outpost. Okay? So it's designed to uh, cause you the, uh, no worries and be very cheap and expendable okay if you want you don't have even to to come back and sell the miners you can just abandon them because they don't cost a lot <clears throat> and 
building that large outpost and putting all the turrets and stuff, it takes a lot of time. That's time you could use for other stuff like uh, scanning uh, using the, the bio scanner or expanding your base towards the south or moving stuff from the north towards the south. So that's why any uh, mining exploitation, any mining you do outside your base, you don't defend it. You just put one miner and one rift pad and one radar. The radar, it will prevent enemies from respawning around it. So you kill, you kill the enemies, boop, 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 and then you put the radar, boop, and then the radar will prevent the local monsters from re respawning. All right, so that was the video. So there was the level of research. Uh, your alien research uh, level is really bad. <laughs> the order of research. Try to research stuff that is useful first. Uh, and then you need to improve these things here to uh, advanced level. The bio scanner. Uh, you need to use it a lot to scan lots of stuff all around. The Canoptrix nest. When you get them again, you need to uh, to scan them before destroying them. And then armor versus speed. Speed is a lot better, so you need uh, the titanium machinery. By the way, titanium machinery does not require titanium to build it. <laughs> and then the, the shortcut keys, uh, you need to, uh, to start using the Z for the energy connectors. And finally, the undefended outpost, uh, which means you, you need to not uh, defend these outposts. I remember that you made uh, a new a, another outpost around here. Uh, it, it's well defended and it's really close to your base. Okay, so so don't destroy these defenses. Just integrate them to your existing base, and it's gonna be all right because it's well built and it's not it's not very far away from uh, from your base. All right, so that was my video. Enjoy. Bye-bye.